So this show in particular kind of needs breaking down in this format to really communicate the process clearly. So let's start with the inspiration first from this scene in Contact. The use of the mirror to reveal information in a seamless fashion is what I was setting out to achieve. The shot does differ from mine though, in the way that mine follows the reflection to reveal a new angle rather than being fixed to reveal new information. If the camera was to follow the cupboard door to reveal the girl sitting on the toilet spitting bars, then we'd both be achieving the same thing. The purpose of my shot is to take tides from being on the bike, literally fading away, to then reintroduce him in the car with Swish. A jarring yet seamless transition, much like the one from Contact. So here's the early stages of the development, but don't include me thinking of it and explaining it to Sam. Sam and the artists were very keen on the idea, the only concern was whether we'd be able to actually do it. So I made notes and as you can see I was planning the edit before we'd shot it, and that's really the nature of this kind of shot. If we didn't know how we were going to edit it, there'd be no point in shooting it. We did test shoots, tried different cameras, updated the method appropriately, but in the end this would probably work as an okay instruction guide for someone who can read my really scruffy handwriting and fill in a few blanks here and there. Whilst this outcome isn't what I'd imagined, it does serve as a successful test shoot, which luckily features good, very usable footage of our talent, but let's talk about the aspects it's lacking. So first of all, this isn't our footage, this is the music video for Gold by Chet Faker. This has been a great placeholder actually, it's shot exactly how I'd envisioned, uh, its lighting is appropriate, the motion is pretty much perfect, it mimics the bikes dropping into the background which we planned, all around does the job, it, but obviously we can't be uploading that to YouTube anytime soon. What we had planned was a very simple shot. During our cancelled trip to Mansfield we planned on getting more coverage of the bike and this shot was on the list. We were going to use the car rig which we've used in previous productions. Now moving along, this is where more problems start to arise. Right now all three shots are composited together, I'll isolate them now. This is the top layer which is the shot of the mirror and I guess the frame of the shot. Now it looks bad, like the shot of Tides this was shot on the iPhone 11. As we just thought we'd grab a few takes whilst we had Tides with us. It has worked as a placeholder in the meantime, but it's it's not a nice shot. Firstly, it's got this crazy digital zoom going on, which is really evident when you look at all the pixelization all over the place. It's been scaled up 2.4 times. It's very shaky and could be smoother on the tracking pan, with more emphasis on the shift being portrayed outside. You can barely tell the camera's moving, really. So let's have a look at what's going on under the hood. As you can see, a lot of keyframing. I'll just scrub along now so you can see how drastic some of the changing is. This is down to the shakiness of the shot, I was just in the back of the car driving around High Park with its potholes, speed bumps every 2 seconds, so I'm just trying to keep as central as possible, which the massive cropping made possible, but the only way to really fix this shot is to reshoot it, this isn't how we wanted to shoot it, but I'm glad we did, it's only made our path forward clearer. We planned on shooting this in a stationary vehicle, with a green screen in front of the car for the road effect, and then with a DJI Ronin and a zoom lens so we can get the motion actually on set rather than in post. I think we'll end up using the Sony A7 for this. Just moving ahead a bit, you can see this shot pauses here. I guess we were pretty tired at this point because we just kept repeating the action without actually letting the shot play out for the other shot. The next shot is the would-be bike shot. It does its job, it fades away, allowing the next shot to occur. The way this shot is incorporated into the final shot was by throwing post-it notes on the mirror, then just superimposing it into the mirror with masking around the headrests, then just some scaling to match the rest of the final shot's motion. The bottom layer of this project is the shot of Tides delivering his verse. The way we recorded this was really simple and effective. We'd experimented with Gorilla Pods and a GoPro, but it just wasn't stable enough. We'd also noted the quality on the GoPro was less than stellar. In the end, we went with Sam's iPhone 11 Pro, as we were happy with the quality it could provide and the settings were good enough. And the way it just attached to the mirror with elastic bands made it really easy for Tides to move it during the shot. As for the lighting again, pretty simple setup, we just had one Sputnik in the back which was shining the same purple that we used earlier on, and this pink glow on his face here that was kind of a planned motif of Swisher's verses in the music video. These shoots didn't see the light of day except a shot that we did get at Leeds Uni. We did a few takes of this, having to review the footage in between takes to get the lighting right, we did start with an Aladdin panel keying in his face on the dashboard, but it wasn't doing the job so we booted the DS1 in the front which produced our better takes, and the shoot was successful, we'd got our take. 
and in the edit you can just see it's got a bit of movement going on just to keep it in line with the mirror's movement which was possible by the framing of the shot as you can see the crop is quite tight on his face now uh, we'll keep this in mind when reshooting this now this clip is good for some things, it's made reshooting very straightforward, it's shown it's possible in the edit and quite simple to pull off. This didn't take me long to put together. I really look forward to reshooting this and seeing how, what we can get from it. I'll throw the script for this video down below with some timestamps if you're interested. I hope this has communicated what we would have produced and why we ended up with what we have now. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope this has been useful.